Have you ever wanted to simulate realistic injuries like medical professionals? Today we're diving into the world of medical moulage, where fake blood plays an integral role. We are going to talk about consideration for fake blood and look at 10 recipes for you to make your own. Medical moulage is an art form of its own, used to create hyper-realistic medical scenarios for training, education, and simulations. It's how we prepare our healthcare professionals for real-life emergencies. Fake blood is used to simulate everything from wound scenarios, hemorrhage and bleeding, to patient assessment and mass casualty drills. It even helps in creating special effects like internal bleeding, all in the name of enhancing realism in simulations. Before we jump into the recipes, please subscribe. Now let's talk about fake blood. The type of fake blood used in melage depends on several factors, including whether it might stain surfaces, attract bugs due to sugar content, how easily it can be cleaned up, the viscosity needed, and clotting characteristics. While I am a fan of the commercial blood products, limited budgets, time frame, and volume needed can often be a challenge. But not to worry, we have a variety of fake blood recipes to suit your needs. And the best part? These can be made easily, saving you time and resources. First up, we have the classic fake blood recipe. This uses a mix of light corn syrup, chocolate syrup, red and blue food coloring, giving you the perfect consistency and color. If you're looking for something edible, we've got you covered. Our edible fake blood recipe is a concoction of corn syrup, chocolate syrup, red food coloring, and a touch of vanilla extract. Combine the ingredients and adjust the coloring to your liking. Hope you like the vanilla. Comment below if you have ever used edible fake blood. For a thicker clotted blood effect, the thick and clotted blood recipe is one to go for. It requires more corn syrup, chocolate syrup, and a generous amount of red food coloring. The vinegar-based blood recipe uses a mix of water, corn starch, red food coloring, cocoa powder, and white vinegar. Mix the water and corn starch over low heat until it thickens. Remove from heat, add the rest of the ingredients, and stir until well combined. Gelatin blood offers a thicker, gel-like consistency, perfect for wound simulations. All you need is unflavored gelatin, water, red food coloring, and corn syrup. Dissolve the gelatin in water, then add the other ingredients and heat gently. This recipe creates a thick, gel-like blood. Powdered sugar blood is another one to let you adjust the consistency. Mix the powdered sugar with red food coloring and add water drop by drop until you achieve the desired consistency. Cornstarch blood is similar to the powdered sugar blood recipe. Mix the cornstarch, food coloring, and water until you get the right thickness and color. Soap-based blood can be fun for bubbles in an airway for sucking chest wound. It also has a great dripping effect. Mix clear liquid soap with red and blue food coloring until you get the desired shade. Vaseline blood, made from petroleum jelly and red lipstick or eyeshadow, creates a blood-like texture that can be applied to the skin. Lastly, silicone blood uses clear silicone caulk and red and blue acrylic paint. This fake blood dries like real blood and can be peeled off after use. I love making reusable wounds this way. Fake blood in medical melage is a crucial tool in creating realistic training scenarios. It's used in a wide range of simulations from wound treatment to mass casualty drills. There are countless recipes for fake blood, each with their own unique properties, making it versatile for any scenario. And remember, a well-prepared medical professional can make all the difference in a real-life emergency. Thank you for subscribing and comment with your favorite recipe. Here's to the art of medical melage and the role of fake blood in creating a more prepared medical community.